Hello and welcome to conducting a baseline assessment. Learning outcomes. In this lesson, you'll be able to 1. Understand how to identify the key business needs, pressures and constraints your organisations must satisfy and manage. 2. Understand the importance of objectives and strategies outlined in your organisation's business plan and adapt your information management objectives and strategies accordingly. 3. Craft organisational mission and vision statements. 4. Explain why a baseline assessment is necessary when you are considering a change initiative. A sailor must know two things before he can chart a course, his current location and the location of where he wants to go. Picking a destination may be easy, the Bahamas perhaps if we have to choose, but figuring out the precise distance and direction the ship must travel to get there requires a precise understanding of the exact location at the time of departure. During the journey, a good navigator must also constantly measure progress. Unexpected weather conditions, changes in ocean currents and breakdowns in equipment can all conspire to throw you off course. To reach a digital transformation destination requires a starting point, just like you need a starting point for navigating the oceans. Goals can often be easy to settle on, increase revenue, cut costs and satisfy customers, for example, but getting there will require a reliable starting point from which to calculate the course of your plans, and you'll need consistent and accurate measurement of your progress along the way. It's easy to get lost battling unexpected difficulties, changes in business climate and complications in technology. You'll need to chart your efforts by comparing where you are with where you started and where you need to go. That's what a baseline assessment is there for. A baseline assessment starts with the questions, where are you now and where do you need to go? Think of it as a way to get located and establish a point of departure as you map your digital transformation journey. By understanding the business strategy of your organisation, the needs and pressures it must manage every day, and the hard numbers that measure its success, you will uncover the most pressing problems that challenge organisational performance and the most important opportunities for improvement and innovation. There are three major components of conducting a baseline assessment. The first component involves understanding the key business needs, pressures and constraints that your organisation must satisfy and manage. For the second component of a baseline assessment, you'll need to examine the specific objectives and strategies that are defined in your company business plan. Lastly, for the third component, you should understand the mission and vision of your organisation. A baseline assessment ensures that your plans are closely linked to the fundamental needs and objectives of your organisation. This is important because the more closely your strategy is tied to these fundamentals, the more likely it will be given sponsorship, support and funding, and the more likely your efforts will result in meaningful improvement. It's important that your initiative be manageable and achievable. Your baseline assessment will help you focus on those areas that are most important to your organisation. As a result, you will make better decisions and more pointed recommendations. You will be less likely to succumb to scope creep or overlook important opportunities. And you will not be led, of course, by issues that have lesser bearings on your organisation's overall strategic objective and direction.